Hi there, in this video we are going to see an example of an integration in uh, Matomo Analytics. So uh, what I think is interesting to talk about here is uh, really what is an integration and to give a typical use case. In the case of Matomo Analytics you need to go here on resources and then integrations in order to see the list of all the different integrations which have been developed so far including uh, third-party services and the example I'm going to take today is the one of great integration which is currently in beta and that matomo.org is advertising on their main uh, page which is um, a matomo analytics integration for WordPress. So of course this is for WordPress user and what it consists in is that uh, if you go over here and that you download the zip file that they have uh, right here, you get a plugin that you need to upload on uh, your WordPress installation. And uh, so this is what I did in my case. So I got my uh, WordPress, which is over here. And uh, in my WordPress, I just add uh, the plugin over here, which is currently not available through the WordPress marketplace. You need to upload it uh, straight away. In my case, I tried to do it through this button, but it did not work. So I went on my FTP and uploaded it from there. And once I did that, uh, I got this uh, given plugin uh, set. So I just needed to click on activate. And what's going to happen is that it's going to install Matomo straight away within uh, your uh, WordPress. It's kind of magic because it does not require you to enter any information about uh, your database or anything like this. I mean, the plugin is doing all of it. So the most uh, difficult thing over here within uh, the integration of Matomo to WordPress is just to have your WordPress on. If you have your WordPress on and if you install this plugin, it will install Matomo straight away without uh, the request of uh, publishing any uh, Matomo to your uh, to your database. I can uh, show you what the database will look like. So here you have your your um, a WordPress database, and within your WordPress database, it's going to install, in fact all the table of Matomo. So those tables are uh, specific to your uh, database of WordPress and they will be somehow merged, or at least uh, it's going to use exactly the same uh, table as uh, your WordPress uh, is using. So it's it's really here an integration. It's not like a separate Matomo. It's within your WordPress. And of course, uh, the features will uh, be a little bit uh, different. So. Once uh, the plugin is set, you can see over here that you're going to have Matomo Analytics on. And uh, if uh, you look at uh, what they are offering you as possibilities, so you get the summary, like the possibility to see your own data within uh, WordPress, even if all the magic uh, will have more sense if you go directly within uh, your uh, Matomo and here you get the different, uh, let's say, shortcut to go to uh, Matomo straight away. So here, for example, if I click over here, I will go directly within uh, my uh, Matomo WordPress set just for uh, WordPress. And as you can see, I'm getting, in fact, um, all the uh, data uh, over there. So you can see uh, I get my visit and get all uh, all the magic. So of course I need to uh, copy and paste uh, the tracking code as usual within the uh, WordPress template, but for all the rest, the data are sent uh, straight away without uh, setting uh, the database or anything like this. So as you can see, there are many shortcuts which allow you to go from one WordPress to uh, your Matomo uh, straight away. So many, many links like this. And as I previously mentioned, this is really a bespoke uh, installation because here, even if I'm uh, a super user, as you can see, there are some features which are not available because of course, uh, this is a special uh, Matomo installation, which is just set uh, for WordPress. So this is, um, this is really neat for all uh, the people who would like to use uh, Matomo within WordPress and which are struggling with the installation. Um, also, a good and very interesting point is that they include the feature of uh, the Matomo Tag Manager. So it's very easy to find out that there is a Tag Manager here that I need to copy and paste the tracking code over here and copy and paste it within a WordPress. So this is uh, really, really uh, neat. And uh, as well, you get uh, other uh, setting, uh, setting features that you can see uh, over here. Uh, so I did not have much time to dig uh, much into this uh, given 
plugin offered. Um, I will say the main thing that I think is a bit, um, let's say, kind of a pain for me is that you don't get uh, the control over the archiving process, or at least I have not uh, yet uh, found it. So for example, here, if you click on general setting, you will see that you don't have the possibility to set uh, the cron as you want, because this cron is the same as the one of Rob Press, which means that you cannot set it in order to say, okay, I want to get the data as fast as possible. And when I say as fast as possible, I mean less than uh, 60 minutes. So that's uh, that's the main point, main drawback that I found here. But uh, for all the rest, this is really um, incredible and very useful for any people who would like uh, to set a Matomo for their WordPress without um, taking care of all the technological part. Thanks for watching.